Anesthesia and Euthanasia in Experimental Animals, welcome back to our master class series. In today's session, we will discuss the use of anesthesia and euthanasia in experimental animals. These procedures are essential for ensuring humane treatment and ethical research practices. Let's dive in, Segment 1, Anesthesia in Experimental Animals. Anesthesia is crucial in experimental research to prevent pain and distress in animals during procedures. It involves using agents that provide pain relief, sedation, or unconsciousness. Let's start with the types of anesthesia. Types of anesthesia injectable anesthetics, illustration of injectable anesthesia administration. First, we have injectable anesthetics. These are administered through injections and are used for short procedures or as induction agents before transitioning to inhalational anesthesia. Common agents include 1. Ketamine, a dissociative anesthetic providing both analgesia and sedation. 1. Often combined with xylazine for balanced anesthesia. 2. Xylazine, an alpha-2 adrenergic agonist that provides sedation and muscle relaxation. 2. It enhances the effects of ketamine. 3. Pentobarbital, a barbiturate used as an anesthetic in certain research settings offer euthanasia. Types of anesthesia inhalational anesthetics, illustration of inhalational anesthesia setup. Next, we have inhalational anesthetics, which are administered via inhalation for both induction and maintenance of anesthesia. They allow precise control over the depth of anesthesia. Common agents include 1. Isoflurani, preferred for its rapid induction and recovery, with minimal side effects. 2. Sevaflurani, known for its quick onset and recovery, making it ideal for short procedures. Purpose of Anesthesia, Footage of Animal Surgery with Anesthesia, the primary purposes of anesthesia in research are 1. Pain Relief, ensuring animals do not experience pain or distress. 2. Humane Handling, reducing stress and discomfort, promoting humane treatment. 3. Safe Conduct of Procedures, allowing complex or invasive procedures to be performed safely. Administration and monitoring, animation of monitoring equipment and dosages. Dosage and administration routes depend on the species, age, weight, and health of the animal. Anesthesia can be delivered via injection, inhalation, or a combination. Continuous monitoring of vital signs like heart rate, respiratory rate, and body temperature is essential to adjust anesthesia levels as needed and ensure animal well-being. Segment 2. Euthanasia in Experimental Animals Calm and respectful images of animals in research settings, euthanasia is sometimes necessary to prevent suffering or for ethical research conclusions. Let's look at some common methods. Methods of Euthanasia Overdose of Anesthetics Illustration of intravenous injection for euthanasia, an overdose of anesthetics, such as pentobarbital, is a common method. It's administered intravenously to ensure a quick and painless death. Methods of euthanasia carbon dioxide inhalation, animation showing controlled carbon dioxide chamber, carbon dioxide inhalation involves gradually increasing carbon dioxide concentration to induce euthanasia. This method must be carefully controlled to minimize distress, and death is confirmed by checking the absence of vital signs. Methods of euthanasia cervical dislocation, animation of cervical dislocation technique. For small rodents, cervical dislocation is sometimes used. It involves the swift dislocation of the cervical vertebrae, causing immediate death. This method is often combined with anesthesia to minimize distress. Ethical guidelines and record keeping, footage of researchers documenting procedures, all methods of euthanasia must adhere to ethical guidelines to ensure a humane process. Proper training and certification for personnel are mandatory. Accurate records of all procedures must be kept, detailing the methods used, dosages, and observations related to the animal's condition. Segment 3. Maintenance and Breeding of Laboratory Animals Footage of Animal Housing and Care Proper maintenance and breeding of laboratory animals are crucial for ethical research practices and reliable data. Let's explore how this is done. Housing, controlled lab environment for animal housing, the housing environment must maintain stable temperatures, appropriate humidity levels, consistent lighting cycles, and proper ventilation. 
Enrichment is also essential, providing toys, nesting materials, and social interaction to promote natural behaviors and reduce stress. Breeding of laboratory animals, footage of breeding setups and record keeping, breeding methods include inbreeding, where animals with close genetic relatives are bred to maintain specific traits, and outbreeding, which increases genetic diversity. Record keeping for breeding. Animation of detailed logs and genetic tracking. Detailed logs must be maintained for all breeding activities, including mating records, litter sizes, health status, and genetic lineage. Regular audits ensure compliance with ethical standards and identify areas for improvement. Anesthesia and euthanasia are critical components of ethical experimental research, ensuring humane treatment and reliable data. Proper maintenance and breeding of laboratory animals further support high-quality research. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.